Hi Shelby, this is for you, my brother. Actually, you're my son. <laughs> this is the first part of that song. So it's an A major, and I'm using my all my fingers right here. So I can go. So I'm taking off my little finger on the second string, second fret. And then I'm back picking here. And then I'm coming down and hitting my third string, second fret, which is an A. Let's see. However you want to pick it. I pick it like that. So that's the melody you want. It's an A major chord with that melody. It's the second string, second fret, second string open, third string, second fret, back to your second string open. Am I going too fast? Okay. That's a D minor chord. It's a pretty cool D minor chord. So, See my thumb here, how I'm just kind of hanging it right here? If I don't have that thumb there, then my fingers get all mushy on the neck and I can't really move. So I'm going to make sure that kind of, I'm going to unhinge like a snake. And then I got my fingers here. And you want to look for your pivot finger, the finger that's closest to the next chord, which is my middle third finger, third finger, ring finger here. Because I'm going to move it diagonally to this third fret fourth string, so that's basically what I'm focusing on. Once I do that, my other fingers just fall right in for that chord. So that's what you want to guide the third finger there. So I'm thinking I'm moving it there. The other fingers go there, which is the third finger, third fourth fret. No, fourth string, third fret with my third finger. Third string, second fret with my second finger, and my second string, third fret with my fourth finger. That's a D minor with the A on the bass. So, those are your first two chords. Cool, huh? Okay, so. finger on the fifth string sixth fret that's your root that's E flat right okay third finger on your fourth string seventh fret first string on your third string fifth fret and then your fourth string on your second string second string seventh fret okay and you can move that up and one and a half step increments. Okay. Then I'm going to go with my pivot finger again. I'm going to go up a half step to E minor. So I'm thinking of my first finger is going to go there. This is what I'm thinking. It's like a minor. 
minor set minor chord on the fifth string, you take your fourth finger off. That's a minor seven. I'm gonna slide down my first finger down to D on the fifth fret. Now major major chord is like that. Major seventh is like this, which is your first finger bars the fifth string on down to the first. Third finger is on the seventh fret, fourth string. Second fingers on the third string, sixth fret, and the fourth fingers on the second string, seventh fret, as you well know. Okay, now we do is just slide that down, down to C. So those are the chords A. Second finger is your pivot, you're going there, diminish. Then you use your first finger here, right next to it, down a whole step. solo. I got a low D. And it goes like this. What I'm doing is I'm going to my 7th fret and I'm borrowing the 6th, 5th, and 4th. You know how you do it with rock? You, you play it like this. Do that little finger. Here you don't have to do that because your string's tuned low. So you just do it like that. And you just add this. That's like a rock thing. So I'm doing this. Got it. Okay, slide. You're not that dumb, okay? D. Without your second finger and you just come back. So. Now here's the next, this is the second solo, it's not really solo, it's just this really cool guitar part with uh, some layers of guitars on top of it, okay, so it goes... It's A major 7th to a D major 7th, a G major 7th. Actually, you can go G major 6, that sounds cool too, don't it? It's even easier. To C major 7th. So A major 7th, you just take this major chord here, and this third string on the 2nd fret, you go to the 1st fret, because that's your 7th note in the major scale. Okay, I'm fingering it 2, 1, 3. D major 7th is like D here, which you get in the 7th note of that scale, the D scale, which is a half step below, 8 to 7, you just bar it right there, that's C sharp. And then G major 7th, with the, with the low D, the, the, a G is not going to be like this, it's going to be like this. And then I just don't play that fifth string. So it's just the major 7th. Eight to seven to have step. So then you got C major seventh. You take there's the root eight to seven. Eight to seven. See, it's the same thing in all the major sevens. So A major seven, D major seven, G major seven or six. 